the extension of the Python files is .py. So the file type of Python files is .py. If you need to name a file in Python, you would have to write down the name of the file followed by .py in order to make it readable by Python interpreter. So Python codes could be written in two different fashions. One of them is in the command line editor, which is the console of Python. Python has a very powerful shell in which you write down your code and it gets interpreted directly. This functionality of Python shell is called interpreter. Python also has a script editor, which is an interactive development environment shortened as IDLE. So you create a Python script file and then write your code. Python compiles all of the code and runs all of the code at once. This is called compilation. So Python has two functionalities. The first one is called interpretation in which Python reads the codes line by line and interprets it directly. The other one is called compilation in which Python compiles all of the code together and creates the software for you. So if you have a look here, this is the Python interpreter you can write single lines of code like print hello world let's say and it would directly shows you the output however comments do not get interpreted conversely in the python compiler you create a file by going to file new and save your file so you can choose to write your code in the first place you write all of the code let's say this is a new file in Python this is a comment actually and then follow this by your blocks of code so we write down print hello world followed by print another statement let's say this is a second line of code and then we can declare variables like x and y x equals to 2 y equals to 4 let's say and performs certain mathematical operations on x and y let's say x multiplied by y and then print it out so you can print x multiplied by y you can also write down other lines of codes let's say print this is the end or end of the code to just show it and if you want to run this file we need to save it in the first place so you go to file save as so we save the file, name it first and go to the place to run it. So we name it as python underscore compiler dot py and then run it. So we go to run, run module or press F5 on your computer and it will show you on the Python shell. So that's how you run your code in Python.